welcome! I am Bagna and I will guide you through the world of Gordon Ratio. Don't think this is some difficult math, because together with Daria, who is going to explain everything, and together with Natalia, who will be our reporter, we are going to show what the golden number is. Have you ever wondered what rules the world? Is there any harmony or anything happened by accident? Many years before, people were wondering the same question. To God know they are the earth, we must travel the land of magic. You know Pythagoras and you know what the range in music is. Well, the famous mathematician derived the stringing half to create a sound one octave hater. In fact, you can often divide uh, a string, but there is still one to two ratio every time. He made today's range with simple fractions. Basic of today's music is derived from Pythagoras. You could ask if after the Greeks the ratio was still being elaborated. And yes, it was. But first, let me introduce you to Leonardo Fibonacci. Fibonacci was an Italian mathematician living in the 12th century and he popularized the Arabic numeral system here in Europe. He studied about fractions, geometry and arithmetic. Though Fibonacci was not the first to know about this sequence, it's given his name to it because he discovered the unique properties of this ratio. The Fibonacci sequence is a set of numbers started with a 1, followed with a 1, and each digit is the sum of the two preceding ones. The Fibonacci sequence ties directly into the golden ratio, because the difference of two successive Fibonacci numbers, for example 3 divided by 5, is 1.666. The golden ratio, known as the divine proportion, is symbolized with the letter P, which is the 21st letter of the Greek alphabet. And we can easily find the golden ratio dividing a line into parts so that the longer part divided by the smaller part is also equal to the whole length divided by the longer. Now we can say P is, the, is A divided by P and that is equal to a plus b divided by a. With our school knowledge, we can easily resolve this equation. Starting with finding a common divisor, which is a, in the next step we see that b divided by a is actually the inversion of a divided by b, which is phi. Now, when we have a quadratic function, we calculate delta. Being positive, we can now calculate phi using the formula for x1 and x2. After calculating it, we see it's approximately 1.618. As said before, this sequence also appears in nature. Many shells, including nautils and snake shells, are perfect examples of the golden spiral in nature. Uh, hurricanes and even seeds of sunflowers are perfect examples of the golden spiral because they start in the center and radiate outwards to fill the space. Also, if you look at the beginning of this pattern, you will see the golden spiral repeat endlessly. Sunflowers are perfect examples of the golden spiral in nature because there are no gaps from beginning to end. The golden proportion may be found in architecture, sculpture, paintings, nature, industry, mysticism, stock exchange and of course in widely understand mathematics. You are listening to Pachyabal's Tidur Canal which is based off Fibonacci sequence. Actually it influenced many genres of music because all the matter to Pachyabal's was to introduce harmony and rhythm in his brilliant composition. The most uh, interesting part is that.
Like the golden spiral, which is a growth factor settling the form of plants. The rule of branching determines the growth around three trunks. Also, many meteorological phenomena take place because of this sequence. Hurricanes, spiral galaxies, similarly our solar system, and even in almost every living organism, the golden spiral is portrayed. Walking through the city streets and even in the shops we can notice the golden ratio. I'd like to go back in time to show you some antique landmarks, but uh, this time with brand new knowledge. I would like to take you for a walk around Zbielsko streets and based on local buildings show you the golden proportion. This is the Sukhovsky's castle. This is the St. Nicholas Cathedral. This is the Polish Cathedral. This is the City Hall. We are at the Prague House. explanation about the golden number. So do we thought we can ask about that our younger parents. Let's move to the Oxford Language School where Natalia, our irreplaceable reporter, is at the moment. Today we are in an Oxford school. I am here to ask children a few questions. What is the golden number? The golden number is a result of a, of a division. The number depends on the division of the segment into two parts so that the proportion of the longer segment to the shorter segment is the same as the proportion of the longer segment to the whole segment. What is the Fibonacci sequence about? The Fibonacci sequence means that first figure is zero, second is one, and the every other is an amount of two previous ones. Zero plus one is one, one plus one is two, one plus two is three, two plus three is five, three plus five is eight. The golden number is a ratio of the person's height to the line. One hundred and sixty. Measuring from feet to a belly button. Ninety-seven. The golden number is most often used in architecture, for example in Canadian National Tower and in art, like uh, Last Supper and the uh, creation of Adam. It is also uh, used in symbol of Toyota. Did the Asian Greeks know about the golden division? Yes, it was used in architecture while constructing, for example, the Parthenon of Acropolis. Recently, we made a survey among 80 students. The survey was about the golden ratio and other extraordinary numbers. The first question was if they ever heard about the golden number. 47.5% say yes and 52.5% say no. The second question was if they knew about any different extraordinary numbers in mathematics. 53% reported that they know about P. 3% reported that they know about imagine, im, imaginary numbers. 
11% reported that they know about the square root, 1% reported that they know about the Egyptian numbers, 1% reported also that they know about the decimal repeating, 4% reported that they know about the infinite and 17% didn't have any answers. We noticed that many students know what B is, but what is it exactly? It all started with Archimedes, who was the first to develop the polygonal approach approximating P. P is the ratio of a circle circumference to its diameter, and regardless of the size of the circle, P is always the same. Notice Fibonacci sequence is in all surrounding us world. Is it good thing playing or nature found a perfect pattern or harmony? We don't have an answer for these questions. But we have a question for you. Did you enjoy the lesson of land of mathematical magic?